Hello again, good to see you. So today's video, I'm going, well, today's second video, I'm going to talk about the new firmware for the Nikon Z8. Yes, so talked about the Z63. Now well, let's dive into the new firmware for the Nikon Z8. Big props to Nikon for continuously and often updating firmware for everybody. It is it is I am so glad I switched from Sony to Nikon. Thank you so much guys for keeping this up. And I just yeah it was just I guess it was a good call on my behalf to stick it out with Nikon when um when I was choosing between Sony and uh, Nikon. Sorry, Nikon. So guys, let's dive straight into the notes here that we have um, on what we what's in the new firmware. Uh, so let's go. So the first thing in video recording is again, we have high res zoom is now available when the image area is set to DX. So you can zoom in when you've got DX recording on and you can still use the high res zoom. Um, we've got added high added up power high res zoom collab for the new uh, one to what for the new 28 to 135 um, in custom settings menu in position G10, added a shutter mode item to custom settings menu position of G13, so custom, uh, sh so shutter mode allows you to switch between shutter uh, speed and shutter angle, shutter angle is used for videos with the angle of this kind of like metallic thing to kind of, sh it's like, it would be the amount of light that would be let in for um, the, the shutter, right, into the film. As each as each kind of like film uh, item kind of rolled past, right? So, um, if you've got like a lots, if you've got a large uh, angle, it would let in a lot of light over time. So you'd have this kind of like more motion blurry effect. If you had a thin one like uh, like that, it would be kind of like s spinning real. Like it would have this kind of stuttering effect um, because there was a lot less light coming in. So converting it, you can do the maths, but it's easier, makes more sense to do it for video as a shutter angle because it's 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 dependent on how you want to shoot the, the film, right? How you look at the kind of style and feeling you want to add to it. Um, so uh, this, yes, next up we've got the zebra pattern color added to G10, G15, zebra pattern in the custom settings menu. So G10 was the power zoom, um, shutter mode was the G13, and zebra pattern color was G15. Added options for customizing the brightness information display uh, to G18. Uh, we have, uh, next we have controls. So shooting no modes can now be selected in photo and video mode individually. So say you've got photo, you can set it to ASMP uh, and video ASMP2 and they're separate. So if you shoot, if you switch between photo and video, you don't lose those settings, which is really cool. Um, we've got an added save and load power zoom position uh, to F2. Um, so we get the position of the zoom to change based on the, the, the save. Uh, you can save and load the position. Added zooming control PZ lens. Uh, again, item to the custom settings menu for F10, custom settings uh, F11 and G9 in the custom settings menu is now assigned power zoom. In addition, power zoom speed has been divided into two items, power zoom speed and power zoom speed, sorry, power zoom speed zoom buttons and power zoom speed zoom switch. Uh, this feature, again, all these features for the power zoom are available on the Nikkor Z28-135 F4PZ. So it's not the Zinni lens. Interesting, it's not, it's still using f-stops, but let's, let's continue on. So other changes we have, we've got the power zoom speed zoom buttons in the roles of uh, assignable to the I menu now via custom settings menu F1 and G1, which is great. You can save and load your zoom position really quickly using the I menu. And there's issues that have been fixed. So bu buffer capacity sometimes dropped with some CF Express memory cards. Okay. The following issues may have occurred after burst. Uh, photography went on, was selected for photo flicker reduction. Uh, rare circumstances, the camera stopped working. So that's good. Viewfinder and monitor shooting display were corrupted. I've never seen any of these. I've never had any problems, but I guess photo flicker reduction might have caused problems. Overexposure photos occurred during auto bracketing. Uh, and auto capture would not start in auto capture in the f sorry auto capture would not start in auto capture in the photo shooting menu shooting menu or video recording menu under the following conditions capture criteria was set to motion motion was selected for the lens focus mode switch in rare circumstances the camera would stop responding during video recording when an Atomos Air Glue BT compatible device was connected good old Bluetooth always causing issues. Uh, in rare circumstances, images could not be edited using retouch. 
were recorded. When images that could not be edited using retouch were recorded. Hmm. Interesting. So the, there is a few changes on the Z8. Um, most of them are kind of edge case fixes. A lot of them are for the power zoom functionality. It's great to see some of the Nikon Z9 uh, shutter speed, uh, shutter angle settings coming through, the zebra colors, that kind of stuff. Um, again, this is being recorded on the Z8. And thanks for tuning in. And I will see you at the next video. Bye.